Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Waduva for those who are new here and for those who are returning, thank you so much for being here. I'm not going to drag today's introduction or anything. I'm just gonna get right into today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the things I've learned on the way to 30. And with no further ado, let's get into today's video. I didn't know that turning 30 came with a man. When I tell some people that I'm 30 years old, the most popular question I get asked is, where is the man's at? And I'm just like, I didn't know that it came with a man. Being 30 came with a man. I didn't get that memo. But also I get questions like, uh, when are you getting married? When are you getting children? Uh, psh, did you buy a house? Did you buy a car? Are you investing your money and what money what money i don't have money but um th i get asked things like that and then i'm just like whoa slow down i'm still just figuring things out and then um the next response is we're still figuring things out at your age and i'm just thinking like when do we stop figuring things out when do we when when do you have it all figured out because i need to get to that point i feel like every age and like every face in a person's life comes with figuring things out i don't think we've never gotten a memo on how to do this life thing so as we are growing and conquering and overcoming a lot of things the next stage comes with its own um challenges and for that reason you still be figuring things out when you get to that face and so i'm still figuring it out at my age yes i'm still figuring it out yeah so please we are just figuring life out don't ask us when we are getting children when we get them you'll know you see them like for now let us just figure out what we have at the moment i almost had a bloody meltdown when i was turning 30 and i think uh, one the one reason why i was so anxious was because of the social narratives that come with aging and that come with turning a certain age um and then another reason was just because oh my gosh i have lived through my 20s like being being 20 something years old is also not easy because like literally that decade is when you're figuring out a lot of things about yourself about your society about the things you would like the things you thought you knew you don't even know or like a lot of the things you were taught when you were growing up are like they really come to play in your 20s and you're like oh, my mom always told me this my mom always told me that because as a child they're just planting seeds and then as an adult these things start coming to life so in your 20s you're literally just figuring yourself out and like also just thinking about all the battles and things i had to fight in my 20s i I feel like it's a milestone to, to just be alive after 10 decades. I know of people who didn't make it into, into the 30s. They, um, their life was cut short by accidents or like suicide and depression. And like our generation is really going through the most and um, or probably all generations. Every generation has the most. Apart from me feeling like, you know, just leaving my 20s was a huge milestone i think my second reason to why i was so anxious and almost melting down it was because of the social narratives that have been in place for so long about about where and who a person should be at a certain point in their life and those social narratives are very crippling and they're very dangerous i think because people live their life according to an idea somebody else has for them People feel like at 30 they should be married and have children and have a car and have a house because everybody else at their age is doing that. And if you don't do that, then it has this um, effect on people. People are walking around depressed um, because of the things that they have not achieved. That is not even achievements that they want to achieve, but they're in place, they're there. As much as there is a, a lot of these social narratives, I personally have learned and come to a place where I'm 100% less bothered by what people think about how I'm living my life, less bothered about 
the idea of a 30 year old woman if the idea of the 30 year of a 30 year old woman is having a car and having children and having a husband i'm breaking that idea because i'm a 30 year old woman i don't have a husband i don't have a car and i don't have a house it's not like i don't want any of those things but those things aren't going to pressure me to be any type of person also in the making of this video i spoke to a few ladies and about aging and what their idea of aging is and what their idea of like a certain age for a woman is supposed to be at this age what is a woman supposed to be like you know i've come to learn that women are meant to fear age because of the biological clock and it's very dangerous because a lot of women have ideas on how their life should be like at a certain age and when that doesn't happen they come to a point where they feel very useless or worthless as if your worth is determined by owning a house or having a man you should have your worth in place before having any of those things because any day any time those things could be taken away your house can burn down will your worth then burn down with the house um the car can be stolen will then your worth also be gone with the car your husband can die will your worth be gone with him so i really feel like you know we shouldn't find our worth and stuff in material things firstly and we shouldn't find our worth should never be placed in a person and apart from yourself your worth should be in you should be you not another person with that said i'm going to talk a little bit about a few lessons i've picked up along the way to turning 30. the first lesson that i'm going to talk about is a lesson i've learned in less than five years ago um, this lesson is to save up some coins save up doesn't have to be millions doesn't have to be thousands it doesn't even have to be hundreds but save up some money for a rainy day because a rainy day will come along and you will wish you had some coins saved up so save up some money it really comes in handy on a rainy day the second lesson i've learned is to be kind to myself um with all the social narratives in place with all the expectations that are put upon a person's life you sometimes forget to be kind to yourself to be nice to yourself um, and you're so hard on yourself because you're trying to reach these standards you're trying to meet these expectations and uh, and along the way you're not kind to yourself you you speak ill of yourself you think terrible thoughts about yourself be kind to yourself you're all you have um, be kind to yourself assuming you like to travel and assuming you want to have children i say travel before those kiddos come travel travel before you have children i think having traveled for a while now i see so many things i wouldn't have been able to do with children as a parent and considering the experiences i've had with my host families when they are making trips and planning holidays and stuff a lot of times it's child friendly activities it's child friendly times it's child friendly food it's child friendly everything and if and there is nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with that and also it's not impossible to travel with your chi with your child but there's just certain trips that one should make when they're single or when they don't have children so that when you have your children you don't want to go jumping off a cliff with your three-year-old kid you know or like like really doing like some dangerous thing that could either cost you or your child's life another big lesson i've learned especially in my late 20s is that family is everything cherish your family if you're if you're with your family spend time with your family make time for your family call your brother call your sister send a text message call your mother call your father um yeah call your grandmother call your grandfather call your family members call make time make time for your family family is everything another huge lesson i've learned is to speak less and listen more i think in my mid early 20s to my mid 20s i was very outspoken i think i still am outspoken i'm definitely 100 percent an extrovert but i just know when to stop talking and to listen and then when to talk with this lesson i've learned with just traveling and meeting people and you move to a place you stay for a while then you pack up and go to the next destination i've come to learn that happiness is not a it's not a destination it's it's a it's a state of being because a lot of people think if i go maybe i'll be happy but if you don't deal with your state of being um, and find happiness there when you move you still move the same way you still are the same sad unhappy person and um 
and that is why happiness is not a destination but a state and so deal with yourself deal with those unresolved issues and when you do plan to move you move in a happy state not to a happy place and remember you are not a tree if you are not happy you can go if you're not happy you can go this is a huge lesson also for me because um, I packed up my bags um, at the age of 27 according to social narratives at 27 you're not packing up your whole life at 27 you're not um, leaving a job and leaving your studies and moving to who knows where you know at the age of 27 that is not the case according to a lot of people but that was the case for me and um, there was just a lot of things that I wanted to do with my life and working for the rest of my life to get married to get children was not the end of what I wanted to do for me so I, I decided to pack up and go and I did this is a lesson I learned daily kind of because um, like I said sometimes as humans we are so hard on ourselves that we don't that we don't see the progress that we've actually made as people in life so if you're not where you thought you'd be remember to just separate your feelings from facts a lot of times um when we think we are not where we have to be i'm supposed to have a car i'm supposed to have children i'm supposed to be married um those are feelings those are not facts the only thing that's up to you is to realize that regardless of your age both your interior and your exterior um, will change and the best chance you have at navigating this life thing is to accept these changes when they come be the version of yourself that is easy to accept now because tomorrow you're gonna find a different version of you so as I conclude this video um, turning 30 has given me some newfound sense of confidence like it's different it's not like overconfidence or anything but I'm just more firm i'm just more firm more founded more stable in the way i think about myself in the way i process a lot of things um i just have some sort of stability and also looking forward to you know the new age the new challenges um, new goals that i'm setting for myself i feel like also just because of the experiences and the growth um i'm really less bothered by what people think about me I'm very less bothered about what opinions people have. I'm not going around being a terrible person and deciding, oh, I don't care about what people think about me. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying the things that bothered me as a 23 year old or what will people say or that, th those kind of things don't bother me anymore. And with every year, I, I feel more confident and more full as a person. And so remember, change doesn't stop just because you turn a certain age so enjoy turning whatever age you're turning enjoy every phase of your life they all come with different challenges they all come with your with your own struggles and achievements and celebrations and all that so enjoy that live in that moment and um, take the day as it comes um, so yeah with that said i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching this far if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it's for free just hit the subscribe button at the bottom and also switch on your notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a new video and also we are definitely still on the road to 1000 subscribers i am seeing everybody that's subscribing i'm seeing the comments in the comment section i really appreciate every one of you guys that have been subscribing and also just engaging in the comment section um, do not forget to like comment subscribe and share the link to this video and i'll see you guys in the next video